welcome back to Soda City Living. We're at Louisiana Purchase in Irmo today. Before the break, we tried some of the amazing sandwiches, and now we learn about the gift shop and charcuterie. Mary Catherine, co-owner, joins us now to tell us a little bit about the background of the restaurant and some really cool finds that you can see here. Thanks for having us. Yes, thanks for being here. So charcuterie boards, sounds yes. like it might be kind of random, but it's actually the reason that this whole thing came about. Yeah, so when Thomas and I were dating, this is what we had for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we started taking them to events uh, with our friends and they suggested that we go into business doing these. Yeah. And um, we added in the, the po' boys and the art and the gift shop and everything else. So it just kind of all came together. So when it comes to a charcuterie board, what makes your perfect charcuterie board? Well, we have a, com a combination of meats and cheeses and fruit and pickled items. Pickled okra is really big. Mm. I know some people, you know. I love the it. The okra strut, we have an Irma. Yes. So we've got it. That's kind of a signature that we do on all of our boards. Cool. Um, we have some really interesting cheeses that we bring in. Um, not your not your everyday cheeses that you see. We have a Huntsman, which is the blue cheese with the cheddar. Oh, wow. It's really good. We have, this one is called Barely Buzzed. It's mm -hmm. um, dusted with espresso. Really? So that's really yummy. And we have this one that's a favorite of everyone's. This is a lemon Wensleydale. Has a little honey mixed in, really good. And then we have a Gouda on this one too, as well as some meats. We have uh, Genoa, we have pepperoni, and soprasada, and some prosciutto. So when it comes to arranging the boards, what do you keep in mind? Um, it's Everyone is different. I don't think anyone I've ever made has ever been the same. Mm -hmm. um, I just like the design, because mm -hmm. I was an art teacher, so that kind of is just, um, the way that I do things. You yeah, know, the way your like brain works. It's just a piece works. of art. Yes, it's just, it is. It turns into that. Edible so. art. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Amazing. So yep. can someone order, you know, a, a charcuterie yes. board and pick and choose the different ingredients that you want? Well, they can request. Um, if we have them, we certainly will put them on. We do have some items like some of the cheeses that people really do like and they'll mm -hmm. request those. But you can order um, these online or you can order at our counter, either one. And we do have different sizes available. Um, we have really, really large ones and then we have really small ones too that are individually um, made. So when someone walks in here, one of the first things that you see is all the art on the walls. And yeah. that's actually all because of you. So tell us about that. So I wanted um, the, the restaurant to be very homey. Mm -hmm. I wanted people to feel comfortable here. Um, so I did do the paintings on the walls. And then as far as Cypress Corner goes, I do the art um, also, all the paintings in here. Yes, and for those who haven't been here, Cypress Corner is a little gift shop inside a restaurant. For someone yeah. who's a shopper like myself, Oh my gosh, like I'm in heaven. <laughs> Food and shopping in one place, that's yeah. not a mall. <laughs> that's awesome. So yeah. tell us about some of the choices that you've made in here, some of the things that you bring in. So we have lots of different items. We have dish towels, which are great sellers for us. Um, we have charcuterie boards, of course, that mm -hmm. you can always bring those in and have a charcuterie board made on those too. Wow. You can purchase one of those here. Um, we have just lots of little knickknacks, lots of fun things, um, lots of gifts that you can give a teacher or neighbor, mm -hmm. um, just anybody. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> and you also have some Louisiana-inspired snacks. We do, we do. We have our Zatarain's um, peanuts. Very classic. And we also have, this is our spice that Thomas mentioned earlier. Right. Or something else that you can purchase here. Um, this has a recipe on the back for a really great dish. Can awesome. Do that. And then we do carry the Sakar jams, which I know y'all have featured. Yes, yes. And if you remember our friends, Raish and Jess, they have a lot of amazing flavors and you have quite a few of them here. So this is yes. one place that you can pick mm -hmm. it up. The Raspberry 75 sounds amazing. So good. And then we do have, um, we do carry the Zaps chips that we have for lunch um, that you can get with any of the dishes that we have. And then we also have these great pretzels, which make a great snack for you know, watching TV at night. Yeah, no, I, I've never had Zaps brand. What makes those so special? Well, they're made, um, they're a New Orleans brand mm -hmm. and they just have lots of really interesting flavors. The Voodoo is definitely one of my favorites. It's yeah. kind of a um, tangy, more like um, salt and vinegar and barbecue. Ooh. Kind of had a baby. Okay. Um, that's how I would describe that. <laughs> yeah. And then they have, um, we've got the original and the barbecue and the salt and vinegar and um, yeah, so they're great. 
That's awesome. Yeah. So uh, someone might be wondering, how did you get into this business and what did you do before this? So I was an art teacher um, before kids came along. Yeah. And then I was a stay-at-home mom. And then Thomas and I met and we just came up with this idea. Um, and it's been great. We're just really pleased with um, you know the customers and just the support that we've gotten from the community. Right, and there has been one surprising thing for you, just how many people are from Louisiana yes. and surrounding areas. They have come out of the woodwork. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> That's they awesome. Have. Yeah, we um, do a crawfish boil. We have that scheduled for April, mm -hmm. April 20th this year. Um, we sell out every time we've done it. This will be our third. Wow. Annual. Yeah, we did it right out here in front of the restaurant. And um, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Awesome. And then um, a couple other things I think are really cool is that, of course, the artwork on the walls, you did that, but also you have some paintings and different things that you've done within mm -hmm. Cypress Corner. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've kind of gotten back into painting again after many years of not yeah. doing that, so it's a good hobby that I've picked back up. Yeah, another yeah. neat thing is that you actually have some family members who work alongside We you. do, we do. <laughs> um, our daughter, our son, um, they both help us out whenever we need. That's so, awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So you actually went to Louisiana pretty recently. Yes. What were some of your favorite things or anything that you would tell someone who also hasn't been yet? So it was interesting comparing our beignets to Cafe Du Monde's beignets. Okay. Ours are just as good. Really? Okay. <laughs> They're just as good. But the whole experience was great. I'm ready to go back again. Really? What yeah. were some of your favorite activities? Um, we did lots. We just toured around and saw the, the buildings that I've heard about for many years from Thomas. And, right. Um, went to some really great restaurants. Had some great po' boys and just amazing food down there. And, of course, the hurricanes. You know, yes. The drinks. We can't miss those. Oh, yeah. I'm sure <laughs> you stocked up while you were there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Make good use of your time. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, it has yeah. been so great being here. Definitely a lot to look at here. A lot of great menu items to try as well. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you for coming. Absolutely. We'll be right back here on Soda City Living.